Oh, wait, what's going on, my fellow talkers? It's your boy, MJ. We're back another video, and, um, something that's really been, so I've, 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 I definitely did want to kind of hop into this video, um, like, I would like to know, how strong, after watching Demon Slayer, the finale of Demon Slayer, it definitely does, does uh, have you scratch my mind how strong Tanjiro actually really is. Demon Slayer, first, first off, Demon Slayer, excuse me, is freaking amazing. Demon Slayer is, is one of the best anime out this year. And no, my fault, it's the best anime. I feel like I don't even think it's gotten to the point where like listen, my hero was all is, is amazing and all, but I don't think it even touches I, I I don't know. I think I think until my hero my hero guys my hero guy come crazy. They gotta bring that heat. My hero I can even better bring that heat, man. Cause Demon Slayer on it. Yeah boy, they on them they on it, bruh. Demon Slayer is on it. They on a head. They on they on they on showing his head, man. And I love the Demon Slayer is one. I love that anime so much, bro. I freaking love it. And you know what I'm saying? It's it's amazing. It's freaking amazing. So I'm curious, you know. But I'm you know, we're gonna check this video out. I would like to know how strong. Yeah, like Tenjiro's hidden power and true potential. Like, it, it, listen. I'm, after looking at this anime, I definitely do see Tenjiro having a having a lot of potential, having a lot of you know hidden power that we don't know no don't know about. And let me know. Does Demon Slayer have a manga out? If it does, I will read it. Just to see how strong this man is. I will, I, and then 25 episodes isn't really enough for me to see how... It isn't really enough. I know this man has a hidden hidden power that we don't know about. And other potential. That, like, and a, hidden, a, lot, a bunch of hidden potential that we don't know about. So, let me know, please, if this anime has a manga. You know, so I can read it. So, and see, like, what this dude's actually, I mean, fully about here. So, I gotta wait another season for this anime to come out. And, top of that, we got a movie coming out for this anime as well. So, okay. So that's good. That's also really good. So we're going to dive right into this video, man. Uh, I don't want to waste any of the guys' time. It's probably the only video I dropped for today. And so I'll, I'll, I'll definitely upload some more videos tomorrow. And um, yeah, see what we get going on. So let's, let's, let's get it cracking. Let's get, let's, get let's get it going. Lag out. What is up, everybody? It's Animac here for Anime Uproar. And today, I will be talking about the kindest boy in anime. The one and only... Tanjiro Kamado from Demon Slayer, aka Kimetsu no Yaiba. Demon Slayer is full of awesome and extremely likable characters. I mean, Zenitsu, Inosuke, Nezuko, and of course Tanjiro are all compelling characters, especially in their interactions with each other. But the strength of Demon Slayer is that on top of having characters with personality and likability, it also has characters with really cool and complex powers and abilities. Yes, Tanjiro sir. is definitely a character with both, an extremely likable personality and some badass powers. In this video, I will be explaining all of Tanjiro's unique abilities and powers, including the hidden power and potential that Tanjiro appears to have inherited through his family line. Trust me, there is a lot to talk about when it comes to Tanjiro's power, so let's get yeah, into like, it. Yeah, I know his power definitely have a lot of meaning for sure. Actually, like after watching more, the, uh, this fight right here, like after watching and this fight right here, you definitely, you definitely you know that he has a lot of his power because he has a lot of meaning. Feel free to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, at AnimeOutRoar, for all the latest Demon Slayer news and updates. And uh, finally, this video will contain manga so. spoilers about exactly. Tanjiro's powers and also Nezuko's uh, powers, so please proceed with case, caution, I mean, you have been spoiled. warned. When I we first know. meet Tanjiro, he is a kind-hearted and hard-working young man who cares deeply about his family. After yes, the sir. death of his father, Tanjiro, from illness, Tanjiro had to step it up and work hard in order to help his family exactly, make ends man. meet. Well, listen, the man had and in fact, grind, he is in charge of traveling to, great distances to sell firewood in order to earn enough money for the family to survive. But one morning after he returns to his family's mountain home, Tanjiro finds that his entire family has been killed by yep. a demon. I know about or this. rather, his entire family this. except his sister Nezuko, yeah, his sister, so. who has been turned into a demon herself. Yep. But when the water Freaking Hashira Giyu shows up to kill Nezuko, because killing demons is what demon slayers do, Tanjiro refuses to let the demon slayer kill his sister. During the brief battle between Tanjiro and Giyu, Nezuko actually regains some of her humanity and she puts herself in danger in order to protect her brother from Giyu. Because Nezuko's behavior is so unusual and so different from the behavior of ordinary demons, Giyu decides to do something that is unheard of among the demon slayers. Giyu spares Nezuko's life and he sends both Nezuko and Tanjiro to his mentor and former water Hashira Sakonji Urokodaki. Urokodaki okay. then proceeds to train Tanjiro for two years yep, in order yeah, to turn him into a demon slayer. Be, now, Tanjiro is determined the, to become a demon slayer like, because he wants to defeat Muzan, the demon final boss who killed his family, 
and he wants to find a way to turn Nezuko back into a human. Yeah, to During right, his training with Urokodaki, he but learns to use the Breath of Water battle style, the same swordsmanship style that Giyu uses. I won't get into all the specific moves and forms that Tanjiro is capable of performing using this style, but if you are interested about the specifics of every known breath style, feel free to check out my video on every battle style in Demon Slayer, link in the description. Yeah, that in that out. video, I went all in on everything we know so far about every single breath style. To be brief though, when someone uses a breath style, they are essentially controlling their breathing in a very specific and deliberate way in Which order makes to sense. increase the amount Which of oxygen yeah, flowing I get in their that. blood. Okay. After mastering a breath style, the user is able to increase his or her power, speed, and agility ah, to the right. point that exactly. they can actually okay, rival demons that. in that battle. Makes perfect sense in too. general, a demon is much stronger than an ordinary human. So being able to fight on par with a demon is already a massive accomplishment. Yeah, After accomplishment eventually itself. learning to use full focus breaths all demons, the time, bro. including That's when he's sleeping, Tanjiro is able to increase now. his speed, strength, Crazy and stuff, stamina bro. even further. But this yeah, is not, not where the full working. extent of Tanjiro's unique powers and abilities ends. Yeah, At this point, I want to mention that Tanjiro possesses an incredibly sensitive yeah, sense of yeah. smell. And this heightened sense of smell is not related to his Demon Slayer training. He possessed it even before he became a Demon Slayer. Yeah, Tanjiro's doing... sense of smell can often be a big advantage in battle, because it allows him to locate hidden opponents, smell the emotions and therefore the intentions of other people, and even predict the movements of others to some yeah, extent by using next. his sense of smell as a god. Yeah, it Kiba, also turns out that yeah, Tanjiro that is smell, able to bro. use a second breath style known as the Dance of the Fire God. This Which is a breath style known fight, and taught only yes, by the Kamado the family, and it is passed down from father to son about? within yeah, the Kamado man. bloodline. Interestingly enough, the Breath of Flames user Shinjuro Rengoku claims that the Dance of the Fire God style is actually the original breath, the godly breath that was the first ever created and the one from which every other breath is derived, oh, and sure, the name okay. of this mythical style is the Breath of the Sun. Shinjuro Rengoku considers all of the other styles to be inferior copies of the Breath of the Sun. We know that Tanjiro's family has a direct connection to the original Breath of the Sun user, so it is quite likely that the Breath of the Sun style or some form of it was secretly passed down through Tanjiro's family under the uh, so guise of the Dance of the Fire God. The Dance how, of the Fire God style you know, has so far been used by Tanjiro like and so by his sense. father Tanjiro, who used the Dance of the Fire God style for a ritual ceremony once a year. As Tanjiro continues to train and as he gains greater mastery of the Breath of Water and Dance of the Fire God, he unlocks new abilities including the so-called Mark of the Sun state. This state allows Tanjiro to become even stronger and faster, and he's able to effectively fight against upper moon demons in this state. Although we have to mention that while being in this state drastically increases Tanjiro's abilities, he is only rarely able to enter this state, and he is only able to use it for a small amount of time before it takes a tremendous toll on his body. On top of that, Tanjiro is able to unlock even higher potential when he combines his abilities with the abilities of his sister Nezuko. As we eventually find out, Nezuko is able to use her blood to set Tanjiro's sword on fire oh, and yeah, turn it from black yeah, to red. I, I, this, when I it didn't becomes hear red, some stuff, Tanjiro's I, I, sword I, I, looks I, I, I like the red imagine, sword used by the legendary Breath of the Sun user well. who lived so, many okay, centuries so I, ago. Yeah, I hear as I mentioned stuff, earlier, like there are multiple stuff. blatant clues that Tanjiro's yeah, family is directly connected to the Breath of the Sun user, including the Hanafuda earrings with the sun symbol which were said to have been worn by the Breath of the Sun user, the Dance of the Fire God, and marks on Tanjiro's face which are said to appear on warriors who use the breath of the sun, and so on. It that is worth noting that in chapters 57 and 58 of the manga, we learned that Tanjiro has an unusually warm, bright, and powerful spiritual core, which may become important again at some point in the future. With such an above average spiritual core, it is fair to assume that Tanjiro has above average potential to keep getting spiritually stronger, more so than an average person. And even though it may appear as if Tanjiro is just lucky because he was born with a family connection to the Breath of the Sun, he has an I mean, unusually yeah, sensitive sense of smell, him. an I mean, unusually like powerful spiritual core, and so on, him. it must it be emphasized that even though he is like a shonen so protagonist, it, 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 Tanjiro it, it, it is not overpowered to the point of being a broken character. In lucky, Demon I mean, Slayer, just, powerful just, antagonists just like the Upper happen, Demon Moons are never defeated by just Tanjiro and his lower ranked friends alone because of how strong their friendship is or because of how badly they really want to win. Whenever a major antagonist like an Upper Moon is defeated in the series, it is always due to a lot of teamwork, and it always involves at least one Hashira, or pillar. 
Sometimes it involves a whole group of Hashira fighting against the villain at the same time, along with some lower ranked demon slayers like Tanjiro, Zenitsu and so on. Teamwork is extremely important in Demon Slayer. Just getting really angry at your opponent is not going to yeah, secure your victory it, right? in this series. See, that's I like. that's Furthermore, I Tanjiro is not, not the only character with a direct to connection to the Breath of the Sun user. For example, Uichiro, the Mist Hashira, also has a direct connection to the Breath of the Sun user. So while Tanjiro was definitely born with certain privileges pertaining to his family lineage, he is not entirely unique in this regard. After chapter 151, Tanjiro is able to unlock another important battle technique. He learns to access the see-through world, a world in which all movements seem slower and within which Tanjiro is able to see the inside of his opponent's bodies and all of his opponent's movements, including the movement of the opponent's lungs like and inner different organs, scenarios on how and this can, allows you know, him to predict an opponent's so moves in battle more Anderson, accurately. Man. Tanjiro's dad was also able to use this technique, and Upper Demon Moon 1 Kokushibo can use it as well. Furthermore, all humans have a battle spirit that can be sensed by others, but in chapters 152 and 153, Tanjiro learns to make his battle spirit and murderous intent slash hatred disappear completely which prevents those who can sense battle spirit and murderous intent from sensing Tanjiro's moves in battle. So we know that Tanjiro clearly has a lot of special powers and abilities, and at least by the standards of a demon slayer who is not a Hashira, Tanjiro is pretty overpowered. Considering his age, the amount of time he spent training, and all the feats that he was able to accomplish against the upper moons, Tanjiro is indeed quite OP, relatively speaking. But this is nothing new for a shonen protagonist, and we've seen it many I mean, times yeah, over yeah, from Asta, Deku, to Meliodas, and Goku, to name just a few. Yeah. Having an yeah. OP main character is not a problem, as long as the rivals yeah. he faces are also OP, and he exactly. doesn't just they defeat every rival on his own just Can't because he believes in the power of friendship. I mean, Even though at, uh, power creep is always a Vegeta. potential issue in Battle uh, you know, Shonen, many, uh, I think that at least for now, Demon Slayer has handled Tanjiro's power pretty well. Yes, he has a lot of special powers and abilities, and Yes, he was born with unique advantages that others do not have. But Tanjiro is not the only one with an especially powerful lineage, and he is not the only one who is blessed with unique powers and abilities. Moreover, all the major fights against the upper moons relied heavily on teamwork, and each time an upper moon was successfully defeated, one or more Hashira were involved in the fight on top of the less experienced fighters like Tanjiro, Zenitsu, and Inosuke. Even though he is the protagonist, Tanjiro is not out there defeating upper moons on his own. He is relying on teamwork, strategy, and the help of the I mean? much didn't more I, experienced and skilled I just Hashira. Say that? My when prediction anime, is that unless the manga ends really soon, which I strategy, don't think is going to happen, Tanjiro will continue anime. to get stronger, but he will do so as part of a team working along with Zenitsu, Inosuke, Teamwork. and Nezuko. I was saying that too. Initially, we thought that as soon as a demon slayer manifests really? the mark of the sun on their body, they will die down, before right? age of 25. However, we recently beautiful. learned in the this manga like, that the original Breath of the Sun user was able to live until the ripe really old age of 80, you know even after manifesting the mark in it. his youth. My this shocked even Kokushibo it, when he first found too. out about it. But not this to, tells not me that Tanjiro and friends will it. find a way to live longer just like the original Breath of the Sun user did. If it is possible, and we now know it is, then Tanjiro will find a way. And I believe the fact that Tanjiro's sword turns red only with Nezuko's help is symbolic of the fact that Tanjiro and Nezuku, but also Zenitsu and Inosuke, will have to work together as a team. As of right now, none of them are experienced or strong enough to defeat the upper moons on their own, and that goes double for Muzan. As overpowered as some of them may appear to be compared to regular lower ranked demon slayers, they are not so overpowered that they can just destroy every villain on their own. So there is still a lot more room for growth. In addition, course, we've already course. seen instances of Tanjiro, really Nezuko, Zenitsu and Inosuke combining their it's unique getting, techniques and creating think, awesome right? combo attacks. So I expect to see more of that in the future. My main point is this, I believe that Tanjiro and Nezuko's mysterious lineage will be crucial in the long term. Just like Nezuko was able to conquer the sun, Tanjiro will eventually learn to conquer the curse of the mark of the sun and he will find a way to live a long life just like the Breath of the Sun user did. And I also believe that Tanjiro and Nezuko's secret connection to the Breath of the Sun will allow them to find a way to save the other demon slayers who have begun manifesting the mark of the sun. But that is just my personal opinion. Obviously, we can't know for sure at this point. And by all means, let me know what you guys think. How will Tanjiro and the others overcome the curse of the mark of the sun? And how will they ultimately defeat Muzan? 
will they all have to work together to do it, as I'm inclined to believe? I mean, or do you think sense, that one of the right? main characters will emerge as the absolute strongest? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, please leave a like to let me know. And if you happen to be new to Anime Uproar, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. It's very important if you want to see our videos in the future. Feel free to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Anime Uproar for all the latest Anime Demon Slayer Uproar news here, and updates. I want to wanna give a big thank you to all of our Anime uh, Uproar it, patrons. Right? This is, this is it. Greatness, a tier reserved okay. only. But yo, shout out to the homie Anime Uproar. Dude's a freaking beast. Thank you so much for breaking down and breaking down um, my man Shenzo's powers and the origin of how he got his powers, stuff like that, and where it all came from. Um, how I love how you see that he was breaking down with the anime and stuff like that, saying how you know teamwork and strategy is definitely key when it comes down to this comes down to it in this anime. And that's one thing I love about uh Demon Slayer. It's just that teamwork, uh, working together as a team is definitely key. Um, it's great, great stuff, man. I can't wait to see. I can't. I'm actually gonna be getting into that manga as well. Um, yeah, I can't. I don't got, got much to much to say, man. Demon Slayer is freaking hot right now. It has a freaking movie coming out too. That's freaking insane so hope you guys did enjoy this video and i will see you guys in my next one stay 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 fresh boy mj1 i'll see you guys in my next video and uh, like and comment subscribe if you are new to the channel or you know you know if you're not to the channel you know see your share the video all that good stuff you guys know you guys know so um yeah man i'll see you guys in my next video man bye see